Tracy, you are the light of my life and constant joy, which I do not know what I would do without. Our love has been built and grown over time, brick by brick with each hug, kiss, and cuddle. Our foundation was set when we first met at Lady Gregory's, introduced by John. When I first saw you and I wondered, man, who's the cutie that won't stop talking? <laughs> Andrew, I am so excited to be marrying you today. When I first met you some seven years and three months ago, I didn't know we'd be here today, but I did know that you were something special and we were going to have a whole lot of fun together. You've been my friend, my dance partner, my travel buddy, my hype guy, my beach volleyball partner and coach, my biggest cheerleader, and so much more. I feel incredibly fortunate to get to spend the rest of my life with you, as each day we've been together, I've continued to find new things to love about you. Tracy, I promise to love you fully and truly for the rest of our lives. I promise to be there for you when problems arise, and I also promise to not try and solve them. <laughs> I promise to not argue with you about a comma splice, as you're always right about it, and I'm just offensive about grammar. I promise to support you professionally into whichever new city or place that might take us. You have been the most supportive and loving partner I could have ever asked for. You moved twice so that we could be together. You've supported my career in countless ways. You ensure that our home is filled with warmth and snuggles daily. And you make me feel so loved and so cared for every moment of my life. I promise to take pleasure in every day, whether it be traveling to an exotic location or doing the groceries, as it's the day I get to spend with you. I promise to always go dancing with you and spin you when we're walking down the street. <laughs> I promise to give you foot and shoulder rubs after a long day or week. I promise to not groan when you want to take a photo, or even 10 photos, but I draw the line at 20 photos, it's too many photos. <laughs> and most of all, I promise to be by your side, wherever life may take us. Tracy always laughs when people ask her age difference. I'm always very exact and I say 15 months. What, what the 15 months or, or one year um, means is that I don't have memories of life without Tracy. All of my earliest memories whew, are of me sitting beside her, sitting on the stoop in the summer outside of our Stadium Avenue apartment, waiting for the ice cream truck to come, sitting in front of the radiator in our bedroom in the winter, picking the sock lint out from between each other's toes. <laughs> because when you're 15 months apart, boundaries are sometimes pretty fluid. <laughs> but one memory that rises to the top for me, which I'm sure Tracy knows, knew that I was going to share, um, is from our tween and early teen years of a day on another range of mountains. One of our uh, hiking stops on this trip was uh, the Washburn Mountains in Yellowstone National Park. Tracy was 13, I was 12, and we were standing on top of the mountain and I was crying. Um, and I was crying because I really had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> and I was on the top of the mountain. Um, and I'll say I did not have to pee. Um, 
So I was at that age where like body positivity wasn't in my vocabulary um, and the idea of exposing myself to people in, in the woods was like completely unthinkable. Um, so I just absolutely refused to go to the bathroom on the top of this mountain. Um, and I knew the hike back down would be hours and I couldn't possibly do it. I was in so much pain. We had come up. I knew what going down was gonna, was gonna be like. And Tracy, you know, she made a critical game time decision. She decided the only thing to do was to run down the mountain. So I could get to the porta potty as quickly as possible. And she was going to run down the mountain with me. And she did. She ran with me the whole way down the mountain just so I could get there faster. And some of you have heard this story before and I share it again today because it's so illustrative to me of the person that Tracy is. Who she's been to me in my life is difficult to convey in this toast. And if I tried, I would melt into a puddle of tears. Uh, and that's what Andrew does best. He lifts people up. He's the person I call to share my highest highs, the person I call to help lift me up from my low points. And uh, he fills the lives of people around him with joy and with fire. And as soon as I met Tracy, I realized that she was the exact same. And uh, it was pretty obvious to me from the, the get-go that they were a perfect match. Uh, the last bro trip was to Hawaii. Um, and I actually got to spend it with Andrew and Tracy. Um, we were in a cute Airbnb for a week and we were celebrating Donald's 40th birthday. And during that week in paradise, I got to watch them just enjoy each other, sing and dance, swim, care for each other, be present, just enjoy life. And uh, nothing felt more right just a few short months later when you called me and told me that you were engaged. Um, okay, I take that back. That was an okay moment. Um, nothing felt more right then when you sent me a picture of you two wearing matching bro tanks at a beach volleyball tournament with a giraffe on the front. And I thought, okay, all right. I remember the first time I saw Andrew's face was when Tracy and I were spending the weekend out at my family's house. We were in the basement, I don't know if you remember this, Tracy, and Andrew had recorded himself singing and playing the Bob Dylan song, I Want You, on acoustic guitar for Tracy. I'm sorry, Andrew, I had to. Yeah. <laughs> And he had sent it over text. And we were in the basement and Tracy was playing it over and over again. <laughs> and it was so incredibly sweet. And I'll never forget the sheer delight on Tracy's face as she played it. And there was a sparkle in her eye that I have not seen fade in the past seven years. And I see the, I see the same sparkle in you, Andrew, when you look at Tracy, and I have to say, Andrew, my brother, I love you for loving my sister so well. To dear Tracy and Andrew, <laughs> my fondest wishes for you is that as you walk together and run up and down your mountains, that you can always turn to each other for comfort and joy in moments when the world gets hard, that you're a source of strength for each other, alongside each other, and that you know we, the people, your people, are here grounding you in our love and community as you thrive together in your journey ahead. We love you, congratulations.